The Youngstown area woman's intimate photos were stolen and shared without her permission. Rather, rather than just hope no one saw them, Caitlin Bowden turned her experience into a platform advocating for the right to privacy on the Internet. She spoke today at Youngstown State, and First News reporter Amanda Smith was there. I'm going to talk about, you know, how Badass got started, my own story. Caitlin Bowden's nude photos were posted online. Someone stole her ex-boyfriend's cell phone, stole her pictures, and posted the images for all to see. She reported it to police. The only crime was the theft of the cell phone. And I was so angry because a cell phone had more rights than I did as a human being. Bowden worked to get the laws changed in Ohio. Sharing nude images without consent is now a crime in the state and 40 others. She told the students how to protect their own images and what to do if it happened to them. Chandler Waldemar said it happened to one of her classmates. Um, so basically these two people were like dating and while they were dating they had sent pictures back and forth and when they broke up the guy sent pictures to like a bunch of people at our school. Kira Walker says people need to stop blaming the women whose images are stolen. They didn't instigate this uh, own crime against them. It's, it's not helpful. It's um, very victim blamey and slut shamey and it's just all the isms that you could come up with, it's just, it's not helpful. Bowden has spoken all over the world and says blaming the women is nearly universal. This is a consent issue, plain and simple. Telling a woman that, you know, she's a slut for taking, you know, taking these pictures is a big problem. Her organization, Battling Against Demeaning Selfie Shaming, is active in Europe and Africa, as well as the United States. In Youngstown, Amanda Smith, WKBN 27 First News.